gentlemen, boys and girls. In a few seconds we will be landing in the most beautiful country you have ever seen. Allah in preparation Allah for this Allah experience, Allah. we ask that you fasten your seatbelts and try to relax. Please note that entry to this country is at your own risk. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first edition of Bosnia Diaries. Now you may know that I went to Bosnia last summer. I got a bunch of footage, but unfortunately I didn't upload any of it. Life kind of got out of hand when I came back. It got very busy and I just didn't have time for it. Well now that we're in the situation that we're in today, I have nothing but time. So. My first edition of Bosnia Diaries is Gornji Baku, which is my mom's hometown. So let's go and check it out. I'm here in Bosnia. I've been here for a couple of days now. I think it's been four days, just kind of getting accustomed to the weather change, to the time change. My skin loves Bosnia, but unfortunately, my lungs don't. I am coughing and I can't breathe here. It's, it's been a struggle, but I'm doing okay. Um, so this is where I live. These are my apartments. My grandma owns this condo, so we've been staying here. Definitely culture shock here. I haven't been outside of the United States since I came, which was 19 years ago. So definitely culture shock. I will show you and take you on my journey and just tell you everything about my city, which is Gornjevac. So, I guess come along with me. finds us in town and he just follows us. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. Oh. The very first night that I was in Bosnia, I did spend it in Hotel Sarai, which is actually my very favorite location in Gornji Vakuf. I loved the food. I loved the location. I felt like I could fully, fully relax. The Vodabas River was right in front of the patio. That's where I had my breakfast and I was just like, wow, this is so nice and relaxing. If you happen to find yourself in Gorni Vakuf, the number one spot for dining and entertainment and relaxation is definitely Hotel Sarai. Građane to je existira nekoliko uveć godina. Prošle godine je doživio znači adaptaciju, renoviranje, pa ćemo malo prišli u restoran. Sad idemo da vidimo sve ovdje. Hajmo. Ovdje. Ovdje. 
Ja sam baš bila u Bojsom. U ovo je. U ovo je. Zato sam izabrala ovu sobu. Kolega je baš izabrao ovu sobu. Tu da je snimite. Imamo komšinu i u kafu. Hlade se. Maline imamo tu. Mi kad ne ono nemamo posla idemo. Maline berijemo. Znate, gaj da imamo da u podruci. Ja sam Ženan Idrizović. A ja sam Delić Buar. I ovo je Hotel Saraj. Jasno. And that's how, there's not a lot of people here today, but that's pretty much all they do here. Which can get a little bit boring and mundane, but you know, it's the European lifestyle, so that's what they do. I'm not used to relaxing for this long. I want to make a quick disclaimer. I didn't film Golden Bakuf in its entirety. The whole city was going through a major construction project, so they dug up all the concrete. There was rocks everywhere. There was lots of construction vehicles. So I didn't get the full town square and everything that would have, uh, just because it, I was honestly almost falling over all of the construction. So I wanted to be safe and I feel like I wanted to catch Gwini Wakuf when it was at its best and not when it was under construction. If you guys enjoyed watching this video well, then what do you have to do? I naravno, evo neka baja nam smeta, ali nema veze. I naravno preplatite se na kanal Jasne Zahirović. Volimo vas puno, ciao. Of course, you have to subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Mwah!